What walks with a waddle, is soft like suede, and gets mistaken for a monkey? It's no joke, it's the Bambino. The Bambino, I mean, you just say that and you have to smile. These little sluggers boast a unique combination of little legs and hairless hides. Here's a very unusual cat, both genetically and to look at. They do have a distinctive sort of waddle, but they certainly get around as quickly as other cats. Like all cats, the Bambino has a loose wrinkled skin that is the thinnest and most flexible of all domestic animals. Thanks to the Bambino's hairless nature, you can see every detail. You'll know it's a Bambino when you see that the long bones in their upper legs are actually short. Even though the Bambino is shaped kind of like a dachshund, they actually don't have back problems. They're just a little bit lower to the ground than other cats. Atop their head is a pair of forward-facing ears with lynx-like tufts of hair at the tips. And their wrinkly skin can either be truly hairless or have a faint fuzzy down. It's like petting a warm peach. Yes, to Bambino owners, bald is beautiful. If you're thinking about loving a Bambino, here's what you should know. The Bambino suffers few health issues. However, their exposed skin can be sensitive to sunburns. If they're feeling chilly, a sweater will do the trick. Being hairless won't give you a break on grooming a Bambino. The Bambino actually might require a little bit more grooming than one might think. With no fur to absorb the natural oils produced by the skin, Bambinos need to be bathed with a mild soap and water regularly. Attention should be paid to buildups of dirt on the eyes, ears, and nails. An affectionate and mischievous personality makes the Bambino an interactive cat. Whether it's cool outside or warm, a Bambino will probably want to be right in your lap. Overall, the Bambino is an unusual but healthy cat who shouldn't spend too much time in the sun. You'll need to go the extra mile to keep your Bambino clean. When you do, you'll have a fun-loving and cuddly cat who loves nothing more than to snuggle up to their family. Don't be alarmed. This is not a wild bobcat. This is a pixie bob. I think the pixie bob in general looks like a wild bobcat just rolled into your yard. And it has kind of a fierce look about it, but it's not fierce at all. Many of these kittens with a bobcat appearance don't just use their paws like feet, but like hands. Almost 50% of pixie bobs are polydactyl, which means they have extra toes. The average cat has five toes in the front feet and four toes on the back. With a polydactyl cat, they can have up to seven toes per foot, a total of 28 toes. This extra-toed feature goes way back in the Pixie Bob's bloodline. The first member of the breed was polydactyl, and that trait has been passed down. And so has their love of water. Some say this fascination with H2O can be attributed to their supposed wild nature, or their dog-like personality. The Pixie Bob is essentially a dog in a cat suit. They like to be walked on leash, and they also tend to be the type of cat that greet you at the front door when you arrive home. Linda and Roy keep Tracker on a harness and leash, allowing him to safely explore the outdoors. Pixie Bob has always been called the little dogs in disguise, because they do walk on a leash. But Linda and Roy couldn't have imagined how far Tracker would go just to be with them. Jungle fishing, Tracker? Yes, that's right. Tracker is all aboard for the family fishing trip. Whether the Pixie Bob is hanging out with you on the water or at home, you're likely to enjoy this social feline for a long time. Pixie Bobs are generally healthy, large cats requiring only routine health care. And grooming the Pixie Bob's coat won't keep you up at night. In general, short hairs require very little grooming, but be sure to monitor its polydactyl paws. And it's something we see quite commonly with polydactyl cats is the overgrown nail, so you have to trim them every couple of weeks. But if you're serious about bringing this dog-like feline into your family, be prepared to shower it with love, attention, and plenty of activities. To sum up, the Pixie Bob has few known health issues and tends to live a long life. It's a low-maintenance feline in the grooming department, but you should keep a close eye on its polydactyl paws. In a family, the Pixie Bob can get along with everyone. Just keep your friendly feline entertained. Yes, it may look fierce, but in happy homes, this charismatic kitty is as loyal as a dog. Wow.
It looks like a cheetah, walks like a cheetah, but it's actually a Cheeto. I call the Cheeto the Tarzan cat because this is an energetic cat that's going to be running and jumping all over your house. The Cheeto was about eight generations removed from the wild, so the only wild characteristic is its appearance. They're very social cats that are curious, love people, and even have a sense of humor. They're actually very bonded to their owners and can be a lot of fun to interact with. Since Cheetos are a fairly new breed, they are rare, but they still stand out. How can you spot these cool cats? Cheetos are among the largest breed of cat. Males average 12 inches at the shoulder and can weigh up to 23 pounds. Also, the cheeto is very graceful and knows how to strut its stuff. They have kind of a low, stalking walk, as if they were on the hunt. Like its Bengal ancestor, the cheeto's fur is short, thick, and shiny, with a velvety feel. And while the cheeto's coat comes in six different colors, all cheetos have full or rosette spots, a side effect from breeding two spotted parent breeds. Cheetos are also highly intelligent and one of the easiest breeds to train. <laughs> Gayla Yudi would agree. My Cheeto cats are my babies. A lot of my world revolves around them. Don't you be boy. So Gayla did for her Cheetos what all mothers do for their children. Potty train them. You're gonna be a good boy and go potty, aren't you? Even if your Cheeto isn't potty trained, they still share commonalities. Overall, Cheetos are fairly healthy, save for some potential knee problems. Cheetos can suffer from a luxating patella. That's vet speak for a dislocated kneecap. When a cat bends its knee, the kneecap moves up or down in a groove at the end of the femur or thigh bone. A luxating patella occurs when this groove is too shallow. It allows the kneecap to slide out of place. It hurts and causes a slight skip in the animal's step. Fortunately, it can be fixed with surgery. The Cheeto's plush fur coat is short and only requires a weekly brushing. These cats are best suited for large, active families who can give them lots of love and keep them busy. So aside from potential knee issues, Cheetos are pretty healthy and easy to groom. A quick brush once a week will keep them clean. Also, this cat cannot be ignored. An ideal family for this kitty is one that keeps it constantly engaged.